on the set diamonds. You are fast, well prepared. Leave these to your appear. Normally when I read a script, um, I look at the, the guy's part and I go, oh, I want to play his part because it's often better. <laughs> this, I wanted to play my part. What leads an actor to go on, on TV is just the project. By this show having three different languages and respecting each culture and each language and allowing it to be delivered to an audience as, as the truth rather than trying to manipulate it to every territory like it's going to fit in here. And it's not homogenized like some cheap milk. It is completely authentic. So it's only because of the physics of geography of the characters. It's more, and Sam, Sam says it's very nicely, so respecting everybody's diversity. I'm talking about me, and I think a lot of actors, you need to find a, a reality to, to do your homework, and she only helps me to meet some uh, different kind of cops, and even uh, some mobs to, 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 to have a taste of what it is in reality. But it was a bit different. I mean, you, you just can come and copy someone. You need to inspire yourself to get inspired by different people who could be uh, your character. You make it more, especially when you're cast, to someone like me, they want you to own it. So you have your plot, your story, and they go, wouldn't Naomi say this? Would she say it like this? And this is the beauty of everyone being collaborative and trusting each other. To, to find the truth. I started, the idea was to make a, a cinema movie, you know? And uh, when I went to visit uh, Oeku with this project, they immediately uh, saw a series, a huge uh, thing, you know, a huge story. So uh, they decided to go to Canal Plus to make a series. So that's how it happens. The thing with The Last Panthers is that it's the it's best of all worlds. It is, it's, uh, it's a character-driven piece, but it's also a plot-driven piece. You know, a lot of television tends to be mainly character-driven because of t the nature of television. You know, you have to create something that you can sustain for a long time, and all it is about is character and their lives and stories. But, but the Panthers is a is plot-driven as well. But it's that thing, if, if you're going to write a character, you've got to know where the character's from and what they're about. This is not a world I've ever been part of. Um, and so, um, yeah, going there and seeing it and being part of it, apart from it being immensely fun, uh, was incredibly useful. It, it sort of dwells and, and dips, dives into very many different worlds, you know. It's, it has to do with organized crime, it has to do with the, the war in the former Yugoslavia, it has to do with so many different aspects. It it's, takes place now, it takes place 20 years ago. And, and then also it's biblical properties, you know, it's brother against brother, it's, it's all of these kind of things. Taha, you know, he's very, very exacting on the script. We spent a lot of time talking and uh, working on the character together. He is, he's undoubtedly one of the best actors I've ever worked with on all yeah. aspects. He, his, his ability to come across, to, to you know, with the nuances on screen is unlike ever, anything I've ever seen. The MIP for me is my first time, so. Yeah. Discovering. Uh, the MIP for me is a celebration of international talent. Ooh, yeah. Well, MIP for me is like uh, um, new horizons. Uh, it's a, a celebration of television. So MIPCOM to me is, is the premiere of many years of very hard work.